Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about arrays some more. Now today we're going to cover associative arrays. So let's take a look at this array right here that I've written out. And I've set it equal to blue, 34, Harry Potter, cat, and Lord of the Rings. This is shorthand for an ac uh, acronym for Lord of the Rings. This array lacks, you know, we don't really know anything about it, but it's it's an array of an individual. It's data on somebody. And we can kind of guess what, what these are. Like, is this his favorite movie or her favorite animal? Or is it their, it, you know, is it their favorite series? We really don't know. As I stated in the book, 34 is probably the thing that we can guess, which is their age. But again, the blue could be their favorite color or it could be their favorite, uh, it could be their eye color, right? We're going back too far. Okay. So if we um, come in here, let's go ahead and just create one real quick, just kind of to, to show you the, uh, the structure. Okay. So we'll do uh, blue here, 34, and Harry Potter, Harry Otter, <laughs> that's kind of funny, Pooter. Harry Potter, and um, I'll just leave out Lord of the Rings for now. We'll just do cat, so I don't go off the screen here. So if we wanted to create an array that had some sort of meaning to these values so that we knew what they represented, right now, currently, the only thing, the only position they hold is zero for index position, and then one, you know, two, and three, right? So if we wanted to create an associated array, we could just, I'll just name this array two, and we'll do array and what we'll do is we'll come down here and now we're going to create key values now the key is what we can call out and so if we do uh, eye here or eye color to be more uh, specific then we would create a, this is what's called a hash rocket but it's you know it's just a pointer it's pointing to what it is equal to and then what we do here is we type in the blue right there now, just like in the array, we need to separate each item with a comma. So just do the comma and we'll drop down to the line below and we'll just set this equal to age. Now you'll notice that I'm not using the variable symbol right here. Okay. We're just using the string age. So we do age 34. Coming below, we'll do fave book. Harry, Harry Potter. <laughs> and finally, we'll do um, favorite animal. Fave, fave animal. Cat, car, don't think so. Now we just need to bring this parenthesis right here. And then do the semicolon right here. It's the end of the thought. So let's do uh, let's do, let's print this out. Just take a look. I'm gonna shrink this down as always. There we go. Get it all on the screen for you. And uh, let's print our array two. Okay, so let's save this. And I just saved mine as associative arrays up here. Uh, and then we'll just run it. Let's take a look. So now you'll see that this is an array element type and that eye color is associated with blue. Okay, so if we wanted to target just specifically any of these things, what we would do is we just come in here and we type, we do print, and we just type array two, array two, and then just like when we use indexing, how you could just do like, the, you know, the number two position here instead, because we're going to call out um, age, we'll just type in age and save it. And then we'll run it. So see here, the age was printed out right there. Coming back up, if we wanted to change this instead of age, we wanted to put out the their see fave animal just do fave animal 
Easy as that. Cat. Boom. All right, so just a quick summary of what we talked about. This is how we create a key value pair using the hash rocket here. And this is the key and this is the value. So key value pair, There's, you know, two of them, obviously. The left is the key, the right is the value. All right, so that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next episode. We're gonna talk about multi-dimensional arrays. Um, it's an array within an array within an array. That's it for today. If you haven't subscribed already, please do like the video, comment if you have any questions on this at all, and I will come and answer it for you. And uh, if you haven't picked up the book yet, uh, feel free to check that out. And again, my name is Jake from Wild Academy, and I will see you soon. Peace.